Hey guys, if you ever wanted to know what would happen if you put a few hundred dollars in front of socially awkward, broken, unable to find jobs, magic pros, if you ever wanted to know what would happen, well, we now know. So magic pros are accusing other magic pros of cheating. And then those pros who are accused of cheating write long Google Docs explaining why they are not cheating and then accusing the accusers of cheating. And then those accusers of accusers are accused. So Sam Black calls out Brad Nelson in a podcast. Then Brad ne- Nelson calls out Sam Black saying, hey, you are soling my name. This is not true. Here's a defense. Well, what do you think happens next? Well, obviously, the logical choice is someone calls out Brad Nelson for doing what he's doing to Sam Black. And that is the story we have to tell today. This Oliver, Oliver guy then gets called out by Martin Mueller. You can't make this stuff up. Like, it is one Magic Pro accusing another Magic Pro of cheating, and then another Magic Pro gets offended by that accusation, and then attacks, only to be attacked again by a third Magic Pro. And then this third Magic Pro takes the position of the first Magic Pro, and then this cycle repeats until the end of days. So Brad Nelson gets called out for doing exactly what he takes issue with Sam Black doing. Are you surprised? Are you shocked that people who are socially ill-equipped to be nice people and people who cheat, people who steal, people who lie, people who stall, that this is their behavior to fight over the Magic Hall of Fame? which is a joke, but it does come with a little bit of money reward for every GP or Pro Tour event you go to. I believe you get a few hundred dollars. This is very disgusting. It is a microcosm of our community. If the quote, magic pros behave in this manner, then why would we look up to them? Because they make an innovative, quote, deck. Does that absolve them of being bad people? The more that comes out about Brad Nelson, the more I dislike him. I mean, hypocrite describes him well, but there's a darker tone. It's a very dark tone. And there's so much hostility. There's so many paragraphs, so many acquisitions. Everyone is attacking everyone else and then defending themselves just to get a few hundred dollars. This is insane and can only be explained by these people have nothing better to do and don't have real jobs. So why should we even have a Hall of Fame? So the Hall of Fame of Major League Sports are when people mainly retire. They don't continue to compete. Quote, compete. The Magic Hall of Fame is a joke because it not only allows people to continue to compete, it rewards them for competing more. So in the Baseball Hall of Fame, you have to wait a certain amount of years in the football and as well as basketball. On all the Hall of Fames for sport, you wait a few years. After you stop playing, you wait a few years, then you get voted in. The Magic Hall of Fame is the reverse of this because it encourages people to get to play Magic and get voted in the Hall of Fame so they can benefit from money. They get a fee for every Pro Tour and GP I believe they go to. Now, what amazing community members are voting for the Hall of Fame wedge? So imagine 100 or 500 wedges. My gosh, I mean, I don't know how 
I don't know. You would have to warn the McDonald's before. But I guess that would take care of the problem. Imagine a thousand wedges and they're all voting for people based on their very, very knowledgeable expertise of Magic Pros. Wedge doesn't even play Magic. I know he doesn't play Magic. The last GP he went to, he was carted off. Did he play Magic? Probably not, but he was there to get sponsorship money, I guess. Now, back to the point. You have a bunch of... Okay, so you have Magic Pros accusing each other of cheating and stealing and lying and uh, harassment and all types of bad stuff. Then you have the people voting for these Magic Pros. And then you have statements, long statements of responses to allegations against me. You act alarmed to find out that people make harmful claims about you behind your backs, yet you do the exact same thing to others. Did you not think that I and the other players who you slander would not be affected in the same way? I have questioned why I even spend my time playing this game, knowing that thanks to you, I would never be fully embraced into the pro community that I always used to aspire to be a member of. You have, for me, ruined a part of the game I love so much. The much part, I assume, that's what he wanted to say. Hmm, sounds like Brad Nelson is not a superhero. Sounds like he's not a friendly guy. Have you guys actually played against these magic grinders? When I used to play DNA Comics, my local game store, before they decided not to do magic, it was these local grinders, and they didn't have jobs, they didn't have homes. It was, their whole life revolved around whether or not they could win the $10 prize pool at Friday Night Magic. I felt bad for them. I truly did. And it's not because of pity. It's not because... Uh, it's Their whole life revolves around this game. And this game doesn't give anything back. Nothing is given back. So if you worked really hard at your job and you get really good at it. Let's say that you're a coder. One of my family friends... He's now working at Facebook. Do you know the Facebook signing bonus for a recent college grad is $50,000? I should have worked at Facebook, not the other company, but I didn't know it was $50,000, but it is. I saw the contract. $50,000 signing bonus. That is equivalent to 100 years of magic professional play. Roughly estimated using Wedge math. So... I think it's kind of interesting that uh, people, I mean, Brad Nelson has accused uh, Oliver of cheating for four years. Now, Martin Mueller is going to get into it, and he's saying that Oliver did cheat against him. So you have, let, let me get this straight. Lee Cian is saying that there is some, I guess, racism involved, which there may be. Maybe he's right. And then you have Sam Black calling Brad Nelson out for cheating. Then Brad Nelson gets mad at Sam Black and says, oh, your allegations, you know, you're doing bad service. You're creating drama. Then Oliver calls out Brad Nelson. Then Brad Nelson calls out Oliver. Then Martin Mueller calls out Oliver, who calls out Black Brad Nelson. Like, do you guys see what this is, what's going on? I want to show you the reality of this game. The reason that everyone's so angry and so money hungry all the time is because there is no money. Let's say we put a thousand people into a room and we only had a hundred thousand dollars to pay them. And we told them, hey, split up this hundred thousand dollars. Well, the average person would only get ten thousand dollars. That's not enough to live off. But they would kill, not kill, they would fight tooth and nail to get this money. They would lie, they would cheat, they would steal because, I mean, why not? Now Reed Duke is going to get involved. And rumors aren't checkmate and they won't preclude you from being accepted. <laughs> so, I mean, what Magic Pro hasn't been involved in this drama who wants to be part of the Hall of Fame? There's not a single one of them that is not fighting tooth and nail 
making their case, paying White's junior cheeseburger double, junior double cheeseburger bacon, junior. Who knows what they're paying White's? Gift cards, magic cards, Taco Bell, all types of good stuff, right? If I was a Magic Hall of Fame, I would just give them a thousand bucks a piece and say, all right, vote me in. If I was close enough, right? Like, obviously, I have i don't have a pro tour point. And I would probably get voted in because money is what they all are after. There's no prestige. There's no fame. The art, maybe there is fame, but the fame is not the type that I would want. Hey, I made the Magic Hall of Fame. Great. Are you a cheater? Yep, I am. Great. Let's put all the cheaters in the Magic Hall of Fame. And then it's kind of like um, when you tell Yelp reviewers to wear a t-shirt that says that I'm a Yelp reviewer. And then you spit in their food. Why don't we put all the cheaters into the Hall of Fame, but not tell them that we're putting them in because they're cheaters. And then they wear badges and we're like, oh, wow, we need to call a judge to Alex Bertini. He, he's on the Hall of Fame. We need to call a judge. And it would be easier to identify. I don't know. That sounds like a good concept to me. Bye, guys. I was trolling a little bit at the end, but the point of the video was, these are your heroes. If these are your heroes, then imagine how nasty the villains are. <laughs> Bye, guys.